first thing you want to do is line up this 1x6 with this 2x6 in black. It doesn't have to be in black, but you can. And then line up this 1x6 with this 2x6 in red. Line up like that. And then take your plate tiles right here. These are just in dark red, but you can put, use any color you want. And there, so you should have a little thing that kind of looks like this. These are the pieces that you need for the second section. Take your red 1x6, put it down here at the bottom. Then take your two, two 1x2s, place it here on the side. Take your one 1x2, one place it right there. 1x2, one 1x3, one 1x1 one one tile, 1x1 one one tile, and 1x1 one one plate. There you go. You should have a little shape like this. There you go, you're done with the second section. These are the pieces that you need for the third section. Take your two one by two bricks, place one right there, then place the other right next to it. Then place your one by three brick there, a one by two brick, a one by two Technic brick with a pin hole right there, one by three brick, two, one by two, one by one bricks, place one right there and one right there, and then your one by, your one by two brick with an axle in it right there. Your axle rod needs to be five studs long, and then you can fit that in right there, slide that in like that. There you go, you're done with the third section. Before we move on to the fourth section, I'm going to show you some side builds that you need for the inside of your puzzle box. So take a 1x4 tile, flip it around, and place a 1x1 plate with a clip on the side, and then a 1x1 plate over there on the other side. Make sure the clip is facing in to the um, center of your plate. There you go, your first little mini build is done. Then take your 1x4 plate. Take two studs and place them on the side. And then any tile of your choice that's a one by two in the middle, like that, and there you go. There's your second mini build, and you're gonna need these for the inside of the puzzle box. Before you build your roof, you need to place in your little mini builds. So take this one and block the clip, place it right there on this, right next to this rod right here, and then push that rod in, then take this one, and place it with studs down over here. Now you're done putting the mini builds into the puzzle box. So now you can move on to putting the roof on. Take this one by one plate and place it right there on the top of the clip. And that will seal up that hole. And so it'll just look like a stack of plates right there. Which is pretty nice for, you know, if someone's trying to solve this, they can't really tell what's inside. Take your puzzle box and your two by four plate. Put it right there in the corner. Then your one by six, right there. One by two, up there in the corner. And a one by one plate with a clip on the side. And a one by one plate. After you're done with the fourth section, take a rod with a little stopper at the end. And place it here, or place it right there on the clip. To actually solve your puzzle box, take your rod off. And what you want to do is you want to push out that Technic pin right there at the end. Now you know that hole was at the other side. I'm going to do that. It's kind of difficult, but it's, it, you know, it's not too hard. Then you want to pull that out. It's pretty simple. Now that rod's not blocking, so you can dump that out. Now that thing's inside, so you just hit it a couple times to the side. There we go. Okay. So yeah, you do have to kind of shake it around a little bit and try to line it up, which is an extra challenge. So it's a little bit harder for someone to break into it. Don't press your roof on too hard because I'll kind of stop this inside from moving. And to reset it, all you do is slide this in. Then you just want to fall down there. So just kind of hit it around a little bit. And then you want to slide your thing back in with the clip facing to the back of the thing. Line up that just right. And then take your rod, and squeeze it in, and keep that kind of level, and then put that back on. There you go. There's your Lego puzzle box. 
that's pretty much it for this video and i'll see you next time bye